Hello everybody, my name is Alex and today I want to talk about how I water my orchids. Well, this video is not going to be detailed. I just got in the mood for watering. I watered almost all of my orchids and I decided to turn on the camera and show you a little bit of it. Well, from bigger like this orchids I've showed you in a big vase. I have a few in a big vase and two smaller orchids it's quite huge <laughs> and to smaller orchids like this it's also blooming and they are still blooming yes the season is getting over the winter season it's it's the beginning of april now and they are still having their winter blooming and the smallest yes i have this super small you can't even see it on camera i think well and i have also let me show you my petunias well yeah, I'm gonna talk about orchids, but I have petunias here, which I, this is easy way. And I sowed it in the beginning of February and it's already blooming. I have about 10 bushes and it's already blooming. I, I'm very surprised they are this huge already. And it's still zero degrees outside, so I can't still put them on the balcony. So let's take, take a look on the orchids. This orchid I showed you in some previous videos it's summer song it has three spikes three newly grown spikes and it had a fourth one which freezed freezed like it stopped growing sometimes it happens it has three it's enough it's quite many it's it's a lot of flowers here it's many flowers and it got i think tired and i need to water it i did not water it and i will show you how i'm going to water it it's very easy, nothing special actually. <laughs> well, I have this orchid, this big lip is going to stop flowering soon. It has lost a few flowers already and they're tired. They're, they look quite tired. It's gonna be over soon. And it started growing. A new leaf is coming and the roots are starting to grow. It's a good sign. And they will give new spikes. I think mostly they start to give new spikes in the middle and end of April. Yeah. And um, the reason why is temperature. Because uh, the heating season is getting over. And I'm opening windows. I'm opening windows for the fresh air and for cool air and they like cool temperature era around 20 degrees and, and when I say 20 degrees I mean Celsius of course uh, so uh, don't get confused <laughs> 20 degrees Celsius not all of my orchids are planted in glass yes some of them are planted in glass with no holes at all and they like it but for example this is planted in in a normal pot so there are holes on the bottom. This one I haven't replanted at all. I bought it about seven months ago, eight, something like that. It's not replanted. And this one, it's replanted, yes, but it's a standard system. It has holes. It's a double pot. It has holes there, it's planted in bark. Uh, and this one, for example, it's also planted in glass with no holes. But the glass got broken here. Yes, the, uh, I almost dropped it and the glass got broken. So I put a plastic bag here to cover it. But yeah, they're growing fine. This also is planted in glass and it has some new flowers here. This, my, my favorite orchid, you have seen it, is it's also gonna end this, the flowering soon. But, these are not the freshest, but it started growing. A new leaf is coming, the roots are starting to grow, and I'm really happy. I'm waiting for the new flower spike in, around uh, the end of April. I got my water ready here, but let's take a closer look. So there are the flowers, there are the roots. I watered this orchid yesterday, so I'm not going to water it today. The roots are green. That means, and there are some water on the bottom, I think. No, not really, but it's moisty. As you can see, it's very moisty. The roots are green. That means they are moisty and they do not need to be watered. 
As you can see here, roots are green. It also depends on the variety. The root color depends on the variety. Actually, every variety has its name. For example, this one is Summer Song and this one I do not know. Unfortunately, if you know, please let me know because it's very nice. It's very nice looking and it's very nice growing too because some varieties require more requirements and they can die easily. This one is not, it's very strong. And this one, let's take a closer look. I did not water it and I know it needs to be watered. Let's see. The roots got grayish color. Not the grayish, but light green. And that means they need to be watered already. And I'm going to water it. Uh, I, I can see a dead root here. I don't know why it died. We can cut it, we can leave it, it doesn't really matter. Just a small dead root, this one also. Well, I use uh, filtered water. It's very important to use uh, filtered water. For a few months, I have used normal water, not filtered, because my filter died. I use a standard uh, filter that stands on the table, by the way, for myself and for plants as well. It died and I used normal water and let me tell you, I saw difference. I saw difference and this, this white spot started appearing much more often and orchids and all other plants, of course, they do not like it. So <laughs> better to use filtered water if you can. So let's water it. <laughs> I have filtered warm. I heat it up a little bit. And I add a little bit of fertilizer. Yes, I fertilize my blooming orchids. I love to fertilize, but I use a regular fertilizer. I use cheap fertilizer, normal fertilizer you can find anywhere. It's not, I do not use garlic, onion, or all that stuff. I don't, I do not think it's helpful. <laughs> it's just, you know, it it won't really make your plants bloom like this. It 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 won't. So the temperature light, I have artificial light as I said before. So let's water it. How I water it? <laughs> it's a regular system. It has holes. And it's a double pot that does not have holes. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just add a little bit of water here and a little bit of water on the other side. Just a little bit, not too much. You can see some water on the bottom now. And the orchid, it will just wait a little bit and it will be all over the pot. And the orchid will drink it. So that's come on watering this kind of plantings. But there is another option. You can soak it like this, all in water, and for about five, 10 minutes, and then drain. But I don't really do that. It takes too long. I have about 100 orchids. And actually, uh, uh, this media that you buy orchids in is very, it holds too much water. And you don't want that. So adding a little bit of water is better than soaking them. I do soak some new, newly replanted orchids, but only if I use quite large pieces of bark. Uh, I mostly use large pieces of bark. I will show you some newly repo repotted orchids. It's a little bit different style of uh, watering. For example, I have this one super small that I have recently replanted. Well, it, it wasn't planted at all. It was just, it was growing on the cut spike. It was growing on the cut, I cut, and it was growing. Actually, this orchid is two years old, almost two, one and a half, something like that. And it's this small, yeah. And how am I going to water it? I'm not going to water it, I think. Well, maybe just a little bit. And for this orchid, I'm going to take this and spray just a little bit because it's super small, does not need much. And so it's, I think it's going to be enough. The root is green there. And the moss, it has moss. The moss is moisty, so it's enough for this plant. This plant is uh, potted in moss. 
plantings in mass. I don't like planting in mass um, because it holds too much water. But this one, I'm usually watering it by adding a little bit, a small amount of water. And that's it. It does not need to be watered right now. I don't think it needs to be watered. Like the roots are green. The moss, I'm touching it. It's, it's wet. So it doesn't need to be watered. This huge orchid, when I just replanted it two years ago, I was soaking it in water. So I was filling the vase like this with water for about 10 to 20 minutes. And then I was flipping it and draining it, just holding the orchid a little bit and draining. Uh, this orchid is quite old now and it has many roots all over the, this ways and it doesn't really need to be soaked anymore. What, how I water it? I just add a little bit, a small amount of water uh, on the bottom and that's it, that's it. Sometimes during the summertime, I do soak it sometimes when it's hot, but not that often. Same goes to this one. And same goes to this one because it's also glass. Even though this glass is broken, but it's still like, mostly it's not broken. Same with this one. So <laughs> let's take water and I will add a little bit here. And on the other side, I chopped this off already. It had blooms, but not anymore. It's growing a leaf as a Z and the roots are coming. And I'm waiting for the new spike from, I think from here. I'm expecting it, <laughs> but then I cannot say for sure. Also here, just a little bit, but to demonstrate to you, I can fill it with water and then flip it and drain it. It's not that hard. Newly replanted orchids, you have to hold them a little bit while flipping. But this older planting does not even need to be held because it's just, it's just there. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to take it out. If I want to replant it, for example, I do not want to replant it yet. But if I do, I do not know how to take them out. Probably just break the glass. <laughs> That's the only way to get them out. Just to show you how I do it, I will fill them with water right now and drain by flipping it upside down. This one I rarely soak, but this one newer. This one is two years old, the planting. And this one is about three months old. I repotted it three months ago and it already started growing, the roots and the leaf. And so I will take the water and fill the waste with water with a little bit of fertilizer. How often? Well, newly repotted orchids, I tend to soak about once in five days. It's approximately. But this one I soak only on the summertime because it already has many roots. And I am usually watering by adding a little bit of water. I'm running out of water now. So I'm going to take more. These are big vases. I think it's they are five liters each. filling it almost completely. And this one, I will also, I will not fill it completely. It doesn't really need that much, but it started growing actively now. So it needs water. I was under watering it when it was blooming and not growing, but now it grows the leaf and the roots as well. So it's fine. And I'm going to take a bucket here is the bucket. I'm doing it in the bathroom, of course, but for the video, I got a bucket here. 
and holding the orchid a little bit on the top and flipping better in the bathroom of course so nothing really has fallen down but just this one piece of bark which i take and put it back so this one is ready let's take another one and the same procedure but here i don't even need to hold anything because this one is older and it it holds itself Just to drain everything, I keep it in this position for about 10 seconds. So this is how I do it. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for your, your nice comments, for your requests. I will be filming how I repot them. So <laughs> thank you everybody. Bye.